it should be chopped into eight pieces, maybe less. All right, so are you guys familiar with pine nuts or safflower seeds? Yep. They should be about that size for a treat. The bird can consume it quickly, leaves very little waste, and uh, you can get more repetitions in before the bird gets full. So that's kind of what we're, what we're aiming for. So I'm glad that Ray's recognizing that ahead of time and, and chopping that up to set us up for success. I want to go outside. I'm like, you've been outside for a week. You don't want to go outside, so he sits in his cage. So that brings us to the next point. You said, do you want to step up? He gave the a few feathers. Yeah. So then what? You always ask yourself, okay, why don't you want to step up? Yeah. And you, you touched on it. You didn't have a safflower seed. You just offered your hand. Oh, but at home he steps up without a tree all the time. Well, we're not at home. Okay. Will he step up fine for you? You know, you touched a lot of points here just a few minutes ago. Um, when he gets up on his cage, it is a little bit of a battle, I'll be honest with you. And I can probably do a lot more of like, you're coming on this, you know. And I use the word no bite, no bite, no bite, and he will <coughs> say it 100, 300 times a day. Yeah. Um, I want to share a story oh. here. Yeah, you can oh, put him on this perch right. if you want. Yeah, he'll yeah, go. We'll... And do you have a treat you can give him? I can give him, yeah. So wait, 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 before you hand it, let's see what you got. Okay, those are too big, so hold those for a second. Oh, okay. No! Can I help you? All right, buddy. Good job. Okay. Good job. Good so, you want to come bring him a treat, Dave? Um, hey. I, I shared this story with the last class. I don't usually share this story. You bring him a treat at the same time I put him down? Thank you. Oh, so he can see it. You good boy. You just went off there. He doesn't want to. Okay. So I, I don't usually share the story, but I shared with the last class and it seemed to resonate. Good and job. It, it makes sense with what you're saying. So you said that you always say, you know, no bite, no bite, no bite, no bite, but you force yeah. it on him anyway, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And so I must say that. So what happens is usually when people work with with animals, chihuahuas, guinea pigs, <laughs> smaller animals that really don't have a say in it. Um, I work with tigers, we've worked with elephants, we've worked with lions, we work a lot with parrots. Those animals, you have to respect when they give you the ear flash saying, you do one more thing, I'll maul you, right? You have to respect that. What happens with a guinea pig, you're gonna do whatever you want with it because you don't care, it's not, what's it gonna do? Uh, I was bullied my, through preschool all the way up through sixth grade by seventh grade and finally had enough because I finally snapped. I was like, that is it. And that's what happens with parrots, okay? So you really have to respect that when the bird tells you no through the clear body language that you saw and that you saw and you both recognize that, in your situation, when you see that, stop and think, why not? Why don't you want to step up? Because otherwise, you'll be the one that ends up in the hospital, right? Because you are unintentionally bullying the bird, right? So that goes back to the diet, making sure the diet's right and making sure that your treats are right and your treat value is right. The reason I had you hold off on these, we may come back to them because we know he likes them. He turned his, gave me the stink eye for the almonds, but um, <laughs> we may come back to those, but that'll be a lot, that'll be such a high value treat if he's eating a really healthy breakfast and only a really healthy pellet at night. That's gonna have a lot of value. We're at a point, when I worked, step up mean I'm going back in the cage. Mm -hmm. My freedom from the inside the cage is done. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of that in my head was um, anthropomorphizing some, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But was, I don't want to go back in the cage because if I go back yeah. in the cage, I'm going to come out for a day and a half. So let's look at that. If he's been conditioned that every time he goes back in the cage, it's maybe he perceives it as punishment. How can you change that? In the first part of the class, I talked about there's four parts of the quadrant. If going back in the cage was plus punishment, right, you're adding something, you're plusing, you're putting him in something that was decreased in likelihood that he would go in there. Okay, so you were doing unintentional positive punishment. What could you do differently to where he would always want to go back to the cage when he was done interacting with you? Um, reward him, like you said. Yep. Give him a treat. 
something yeah. that's not the sky high this kind of tree yeah or make something in the cage now sound a little more interesting like putting the tree in the cage yes like you weren't it wasn't in there before now it is yeah i want to go in there and get that then so I love where you're thinking, let's take it a step further. What if you take the bird out every morning because you like to spend time with them, you have breakfast, you have your coffee. When you're done, his breakfast is waiting in the cage. Uh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Now that's not a punishment, it's a plus reinforcement. Right. And he'll probably start putting himself in there when you start eating your scone and drinking your coffee because he's, <laughs> he's like ready for his own thing. Do we want to try to have him give the reward? Sure. Okay. Why don't you come over and grab some of the, like, grab one or two of these chunks and see if he'll take it from you, because he might just be uncomfortable with me. <laughs> Too little for you? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm used to using clumps. <laughs> I'm not a softball anymore. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> you don't want not your interested? No more tree. Okay, I might try a peanut just to see, because I hope I can yeah, get it. Nope, nope, nope. Just back off. Back I think off. I was like, get the way, get away from me. That's what that was. <laughs> so that was good. You respected it. You yeah. stepped away. And don't look at it as the bird won. Look at it as we won. Oh, as no, a... I'm not any of this. Cool, I'm okay. I'm just trying to. Yeah, we got a, we got a motivation problem. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not eating too. I mean, I'm not telling you he sat down and ate like a, a pail of food. So no, the problem is the food that he does eat is so high fat right, that, that he could hungry. Yep. Like do actually, after they eat, they usually are quiet as they can be. Oh yeah. Them are like, food coma. Oh, Thanksgiving day after the turkey, right? <laughs> Every day. Yeah. All right. Well, we can wait. We can wait. <laughs> we but, can um, get back to Booker. Super well to that. Like, yeah. Did it. Yeah. Nah. No. Nah. We'll okay. wait. It's okay. The goal of the game is to earn clicks. Okay. The scene is live. <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> that was the fastest ever. Anyone? such a cute little hop. So given that, I would go two feet on the next one. Yep. Hi, I don't want to spook you or anything. It doesn't look very spooky. Yeah, he looks good. <laughs> Come here. So this was pretty cool. Ray has been a long time follower of our stuff and our materials, and he wanted to show us where he was at with flight training and see if we could get him past where he was stumped at. So this is where we're just kind of evaluating what he's done. So a command uh, can be very visual. So in the wild, they communicate with these little feathers on the back of their neck, right? So us putting our hand out is a very obvious command or request for them to step up, or in this case, fly. Mm -hmm. So when people do this and say step up, it's very repetitive and redundant mm -hmm. to the bird. Um, <laughs> yeah, you see what I did there. I got it. So uh, there's no need. You can do either one. You can do both. But they they learn from just even your subtle body language. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Lighten the yeah, load. Come on. So I would say let's go back to this side because he was responsible here. I was going to say the here. same thing. For whatever reason. Oops. <laughs> That's one. all right. Cool. Okay. Good. And I would not have him fly back to the perch. I would set him down each time just because yeah. we're going to try to get 
distance so I don't want to tire him out right. double. And I'm also going to change it up on you. Mm -hmm. Because what you want isn't for him to land on you, he's going to pretty much consistently do that because he likes you. Mm -hmm. What you want is him to come when you give the cue. So the second he leaves the perch is where you're going to start clicking. Oh. Okay. Sure. So you're basically clicking for a quick response. Because the behavior you want is come when I, re when I ask. Hi. Right? It's not right. land here because that'll happen naturally. Sure. I would say back up too. Yep. Yeah, and you can back up a foot or two for sure. Okay. So does that all make yeah. sense on, on yeah, when you click there? Yeah, totally makes sense. Because we're almost guaranteed he's going to land right. on him. Right, where's he going to go? If he wasn't landing on him, then it would be quick when he's landing on him. You done? You scooted forward. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get him to start? Well, you saw actually with... So take another two Carolyn, steps back, right? How it yeah. was just a step up and then it turned into a little hop voluntarily. Just real short distance away, like just a couple yep. inches or something? Yeah, and it's easier to get it with small birds. Pay attention there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he really likes that cage. Yeah. He's, he's a peanut oh, oh, yeah. Do you mind peanuts. hiding your treats? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, he hasn't had peanuts in probably two years. Okay. Yeah. okay. Got it. Well, that's definitely not too same with Archie. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes. Exactly. That's why he's roosting. I know. That one wasn't as fun. Come here. Mm. Mm. Alright. Let me fiddle with the treats for a second. Here. You think the other bird goes bug on? No. Nah. Nah. I would end I there since you had a slow feet. response for a little while. Mm -hmm. Not end the the pause. Do you want me to put him back on the TV? Yeah, you can put I him there. I think so, yeah. So you would just... Mom, come over here and sit over by, um, go with the end. Is Neon right? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's just, oh, well. Huh? Mm. And where am I sitting? It's um, right over here. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> bird has that baby fly on. So he on. was super distracted by you, so it's trying to get Good morning from wherever we are. So we just have showers. By we, I just mean <laughs> just the birds. We're gonna get going this morning. <laughs> <laughs>